are stuck behind two big trucks and there's potholes in the road so it's difficult to overtake and uh, we have just left Klokkelaan and we are on our way to Marquat which is about a 32 kilometer drive so let's see if we can get there in one piece <laughs> I have heard about Marquat before but I have never even been close I think yeah yeah now I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like Did you registered cars on the road and trucks? Well, I suppose it's because it's so close to the Lesotho border. Quite a lot of them. We can't drive more than, what would you say? 40 kilometers an hour. So this really cuts down our time exploring, eh? Yes, big time. Because you bargain on half an hour and then it takes us about an hour and a half. Definitely, because this, yeah, I'm doing 29 k's an hour now just to skip these bottles. Huh? Yeah. Marquart 10. The way it's going now, that 10 is going to take us about an hour to do. <laughs> Telling you. taken us on a 32 kilometer piece of road it's taken us 50 minutes to get here it was hairy too oh crazy right yeah, we, we make a right yes we do A beautiful sign, eh? Yes. Sure. You are entering a friendly zone. Please wave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have. That's cute. We're all about friendly. That's for sure. Welcome in the friendly town of Marquardt. <laughs> Welcome in the friendly dorp Marquardt. The proof is in the pudding. Let's see. Uh, the Oostupi. That looks nice. It does, eh? Is it open? No, I hope so. But it's a Monday. You know many places are closed on a Monday. Yeah. like very neat very. silos in town love it <laughs> mind you so you remember the free state this hot yes i do and Always. it doesn't bother you no i'm fine with it I must say I prefer it above cold, but it's rough. Yeah. I wonder what that one's was. Must have been a bank. A standard bank, look. Alright. <laughs> Here's the APSA. Yeah. It's a neat town. It is a neat town. Yes. 
post office. 1913. So this gives me an idea of the town also being there in the early 1900s. I shall look it up for us. Yeah. All in due course. Yes, look at this. Marco's. Marco's is open. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> Definitely going back to Marco's. Or it might even be Marcos. For all you know it is, eh? I think this is it. Let's go a little way further. Would you? Yeah. Sports center. Yes! This is it. Tennis courts? Yes. Meerbal, rugby, tennis, rollball and swim. I think that must have been back in the day because they certainly don't play tennis anymore. No, tennis courts are shot. Yes. Sports fields might, the soccer field and rugby field might still be, be used. That might be, but if you look through here, oh. there's nothing happening. So apparently they still do play rugby and soccer here every now and then. But the other facilities they don't use anymore. Wow. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, so this used to be the pool. Marquette swimming pool. Look at all the frogs. Yeah. Now these are the change rooms. Wow. Ticket office. Now this one's locked. Now this used to be a braai facility at some stage. It's probably have the tennis club. But the municipality uses the tennis clubs building at the moment and these are the tennis courts non-functional tennis courts I suspect this must have been the squash courts. Ah, it's locked. Yeah, this must have been a squash court, for sure. All the Tennis courts and a swimming pool are totally non-functional anymore. All right. But he just told me now that the, some people here in Marquardt come, but the uh, squash courts are still locked. They still use the squash courts. That's yeah. a, a shining light. Yes. So they come in the afternoon, after work and stuff, and they play squash. Good. So I'm really happy about that. And they play rugby every so often, he says. Yes. We are 
in Van der Watt Street. Oh, we're heading back to Marco's. Look at Marco's, Polizia. Yes, check it out. <laughs> and there's a pink, is it a Cadillac pink side? Pink Cadillac, yes. Fantastic, eh? Wow, Marco's looks pretty cool. Yeah, I wonder if you want to go check it out. I would like to. Hey! Marcos. Italian stallion taxi. Look at this. Mark what? Kaapstad. 722 miles. Voltaim. Hey, the National Kruger National Park. 414 miles. Oh man, growing up in Bloemfontein, walls ice cream. The guy on his bicycle used to come riding down the street, shaking his bell. I used to run into my mother and ask for money to buy some ice cream. Is a Vespa. Piece of a pink Cadillac. Marco's restaurant. <laughs> Telephone booth. all of this yeah Look at this. Show. A 
kids to come and play. This is amazing. I love this swing. Looks like you can swing and you can turn. Look at that. You spin this around. That's fantastic. It's like those swings that you get at the showground. This is Marco's restaurant's little cat. What a brilliant place. Sonia is going to be blown away. Interesting that registration number on that old Italian stallion taxi is ORD. And that's the old registration for Marco. Why did I know that Marco's will not disappoint? <laughs> I just want to quickly go in here and get us something cold to drink. Non-alcoholic. Okie dokes. Dave? And the town hall. 1923. Can you believe it? Oh, I haven't looked up yet. Yeah. See how that ties in. I feel a little bit better after the cold Coke Zero. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, it's hot. It's quite warm, eh? Let me see what I can find. 1923? Yes. All right, you just drive. Yes, ma'am. It says Marquardt is a small farming town in the Free State Province. Can I interrupt you? Yes. Check this beautiful mosque. Look at the glass windows. Wow. The stained glass, eh? Sure. Unusual design. Yes. You say I may continue? Yes. Okay, so the town was set up by influential Dutch reformed minister J.J. Marquardt. No prizes then for where the town got its name. Exactly. With the help of Christoffel Cornelis Fruenemann, the commandant of the Orange Free State. Wow. 1905. Fantastic. 219 years ago. Fine. Crazy. This is the high school, Marquardt High School. Sorry, 119 years ago. Is this the high school? Yep. It looks quite big. It is a big place, eh? Kruger Street. How's that sign there? Or that old car by Marcos where it says Kruger National Park 414 miles. My heart. <laughs> Something tells me he loves the park too. <laughs> How much was it? 414 miles. This is a private school, eh? Hey? Wow. And a preschool. Look how colourful. Oh. I love it. So nicely done. Yes, it is.
wouldn't be surprised if this was one of the original houses. Oh, for sure. Wow. Hi. Look at their cute street signs. I think it's very cool. Yeah, that's so authentic, eh? Yeah, nice detail. Yeah. And you spotted the? Golf course. This golf course looks good, eh? It does. Definitely. There's a little red flag on the green there, so it's for sure. It's a little dam. Yeah. Water hazard. For sure. See the bridge? Oh, this is really nice, eh? The Marquardt Golf Club. You can see this is where they have their bries and get togethers and stuff. I think this must be quite a social place. I love these little bridges they have crossing over the stream going through here. Bulrushes. A little dry at the moment.
Belmont Marquardt Golf Club. Yeah, we didn't ask about the Belmont. I wonder if it's just the name of the club. Maybe, yeah. Lots of different prices, you see, for yes. 18 and 9 holes. Members and visitors. Yeah, students and under 18 scholars. That's so cool. Yeah. What a good stop this was for us. Brilliant. What an amazing place. So, um, if I didn't come and extract you there, you would have still been chatting. <laughs> I would have been stuck there all this time. So, the, the new owners took over like maybe a year and a half ago, if yes. I understood correctly. Yes. And I must tell you, we've done a fair bit of traveling between small towns and I've used a fair number of restrooms. Yes. But I think I'm yet to find one that's as pristinely clean as this one. Seriously, I wasn't in there, so is it I that mean, clean? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thanks a lot for you to say a toilet area is clean. And then what she um, also says, the lady, is that their first Saturday after they took over, they had four golfers, and now they're up to 18 golfers on a Saturday. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. She tells me it's a lot of the youngsters that come and play, yeah? And then they get stuck in the pub over there until two o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> but what's nice is she told me that a lot of the, the young farmers whose parents still farm in the area live in the town now because they do that contract work, agricultural work in America. Okay. And now they're waiting for their permits and their visas and stuff to be able to go across. Then they've got time to kill. Then they've got time to kill. But what's nice I like about that is, is that they go to America for about four years like that. And they learn all the skills and the new skills from a first world country and they bring that back home. And making a dollar or three doesn't hurt either. That definitely doesn't hurt, yeah. That's fantastic. I encourage everyone when they're young to do that. Yes. How pretty. Yes. Portable solar panels, love that. Yeah. That's clever. On wheels. Yeah, that's brilliant. Just move it around like a wheelbarrow. <laughs> People take pride in their properties here. Yes, look at this old car. Beautiful. Yeah, I love Marquardt. It's yeah. a very cool town. Really nice. We are in Andres Pretorius Street. Yes. Oh, big substation, hey? Yeah. Remember your roots, drink only water. Walk barefoot. <laughs> I think I saw them say they hug a tree. <laughs> yeah. I try with the water department, but I struggle to drink only water. Yeah. Stasi Strat, Station Street. That certainly piqued my interest. Mine too. So let's see if we can find the station. I'm sure I see it already. Ma, I wanted to say it first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's <gasps> it over there. <laughs> the only thing that gives it away is those water tanks. Can't you just hold out until I also sometimes, <laughs> you know what? Do you think we are going to be lucky enough to find name boards? I want to say no. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. There they are. Look at them. Well, I'll be. Look at this there. Oy. That's an entire corrugated iron building. Yes. 
Now I've seen so many of these stations that are so destroyed and destroyed is a good word for this one. But um, this one is. Well, I would have thought I'd stop being unhappy about it, but I just can't help myself. No, I hear you. But for me, if the name is still there, there's still something. Yeah. This is a good spot. Yes. See this beautiful palm tree. Must have been such a beautiful station. Now these toilets and offices and stuff. These lines are totally rusted and nothing ever comes through here. Four lines. Water tank. come to some old station buildings where they had those nice roofs covering this veranda and this wood was shaped so beautifully and used to curve over the top of the veranda like this but this is all messed up I can just imagine what this looked like yeah Everything gone. <laughs> There's a fireplace over here. The chimney. Must have been the station foreman's office. that beautiful tree there oh this tree is stunning
But just sweet that we found the station. Yep. So you'll remember that the town was set up in 1905. Yes. And it was established on the farm Fashfontein. Okay. And it attained municipal status later that same year. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, sometimes we have a long gap, eh? Yeah. Um, it says here, as we thought, the town was named after J.J. Marquardt, minister of the Dutch Reformed Church in Winburg, who had pleaded for the establishment of the town. Oh, that's fantastic. And then he ultimately was successful. This looks like a school of some sort. Is this a different one from the one we saw earlier? Oh, this might be the backside. It's definitely a school. There's a little minibus. And a hostel. Yeah. Water tower? Yes. And a reservoir? Yep, they normally go hand in hand. The one pumps into the other. Oh, the new. Oh, is that yeah. how it works? Yes. Oh, few reservoirs, eh? Yes. I'm not sure we've um, seen everything there is in town. No, we haven't. It looks like past. it was a little church, right? Let me first, I'll come back to this. I'll sure. I'll go to this. Oh, you want to see the front side? Yeah, we didn't see this. Did we? Uh-uh. No, we haven't been here. I think we saw the high school. Yes, we did see the high school. Definitely a hostel. Oh, look at that old veranda. Beautiful building. Yeah. Hi. Love it. There's nothing on, so I don't know if it's. It's definitely a school because I saw a minibus with a school emblem on it, but I Did couldn't you? make it out. So we just figured it out. There it says school day, so this is the hostel maybe for the high school. It doesn't look like classrooms to me. No. And the only reason I say that is because of the curtains. That minibus says Marquardt High School. So this is the hostel for Marquardt High School. Right. Figure it out. Let's hope we are correct. Don't you love it that each like little set of rooms have their own uh, solar panel? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're going to make a plan for load shedding, eh? Yep. Oh, yeah. Here's a student walking yes. probably to the hostel. So let's check this little church out you wanted to see. Well, it doesn't have any name on, but it does definitely give me a, a church vibe. Oh, for sure. And we haven't seen any churches in no. Marquardt. There is a church tower. Just see a steeple there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go and see if we can find it. This is also definitely, there's a cornerstone. Oh, yeah, it says this cornerstone was laid by Reverend J.H. Fenter on 27 February 1954. Okay. It's the Reformed Church. Cute little church, the Reformed Church. Yeah, exactly 70 years old. Yeah. Is this a track? Is this a, a harvester? Harvester. It's ginormous. Huh? Massive. That other steeple we see. Yes. I think if you hang a right here, the road might lead us right to it. Yep. This is. Can't see. Oh, and it does. Right into it. <laughs> oh, wow, is it, it built like of stone? stone? Yes. Or maybe 
I think I could drive around yes. first. Look at the original wall. That's fantastic, not to see palisade fencing around. Welcoming us. Yep. This is Kirk Street. Okay. I'm quite surprised by that. <laughs> and this is Park Street. And there's a monument which I think I know what it is. Exactly. Yeah. But this is beautiful. Very pretty. Let's complete our drive around and then you come in this side. Yes, ma'am. This is in excellent shape. It looks beautiful. Also big, hey? Massive. See, the you congregation see that the big? town was built around the church. Definitely. Eh? Yeah, massive church. Hey, we've completed our 360. Yep, let me go inside. Look at this, Food Tracker Eeuw Fierce, Centenary Celebration, 1838 to 1938. Dankbare Hulda aan ons edel voor geslag, Osewa Trek, Markwart Klokkelaan, 25 October 1938. Okay, so this stone was laid on the 14th of August, 1926. So they must have had another little church, yeah, church building from 1905 to this date. Look at this. Geduld, patience. Vrede, peace. And yes, another one. Liefde, love. Oh, there's another one. Look at the little bird. Nederigheid, humility. Goedhartigheid, kindness. I love this. The different dates of people that put their blocks here, but I love this. Yeah, they say they must open that block in 2038. 
from 1938 to 2038, that's a hundred years. I think that is fantastic. I would love to be around when that happens. We are. Fourteen years from now, hopefully I am. picture <laughs> so you say you found a time capsule that's crazy I, that's what I said I'd love to be around in 14 years when they open that time capsule 2038 oh. they gotta open I just would love to know what's inside there well you say you you think messages and notes to the generation yes, of and today little, and congregation of today exactly I think that's what it will be I think maybe a shilling and a ticky and a pound <laughs> or, a, or something else yeah <laughs> wow these are crazy machines yes i mean like maybe handmade articles oh, some messages from a lot of the people in the congregation you know from that from the the the, the preacher from that time to the preacher of 2038 without doubt a bible oh must be and must probably have a, a dutch bible as well I agree with you. Yeah. I wish we could be around to see the opening of that. That'll be a special occasion for oh, this congregation. Oh, for sure. Because they've got a message from the congregation of 100 years ago. Yes. That's quite special. We've never seen that, No, we? we haven't. And I think most of the people that would have put things in that box, box won't be around anymore. Oh, no. No one would be, sadly. Sadly, yes. All right, I thought this was an interesting looking street. Yes. Let's check it out. I like the center island with the plants on. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh boy. What's that? I don't know, but you need to stop. Okay. <laughs> There's lots of little thingy keys there oh, that yeah. I think you'd um, find interesting. Oh, wow. 1838 to 1988. Look at this, this is so pretty. The wagon tracks. This, this plaque was laid on the 3rd of November 1988. Dank you for the kostbare erfenis Marquardt. Yeah. 150 years. Pro Patria. I can't read that properly. It says, There, what is our legacy? Their ideal is our legacy. They sacrifice our inspiration. 1939 to 1945. Whoa. <laughs> So it's the 150th 
year celebration of the Great Track. Okay. 1988. And then it's, it looks like it's, I struggled to read that um, monument over there, but it's got to do with the Second World War. There were the cannons on? Yes. All right. I think it's locals who must, might have passed away in the Second World War. That's really possible. Yeah, there were names over there. This is the magistrate's office. Okay. I really like Marquardt. Oh, I do. I do too. Look at this. <laughs> I'm going to make a t-shirt with look at this on it. <laughs> Didn't someone once tell you that their parrot now says look at this? Yes, yes, yes. I got an email from someone who said their parrot says look at this. <laughs> Orderly. Yeah. It seems quiet and peaceful. Yep. What is our determination? Is Marquardt a friendly town? Very friendly. There Very we go. friendly. I got out now there to go to that um, monument. Monument. Yes. And there are a group of youngsters sitting there, and they so respectful. When they saw I was recording, they kept quiet while I was recording. It's like incredible. That doesn't happen everywhere. No, no, it doesn't. I have a feeling. There's quite a bit more to Marquardt than you and I saw. That's for sure. But what we saw, I thoroughly enjoyed. Telling you, I can just imagine, I can just imagine the social evenings at Marco's. <laughs> 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 Not to mention the Saturdays at the golf club. I think they are very lively over here. I think it's going to be, it will be so nice to spend a few days in a place like this. Yeah, I like the town. Yes. It's a friendly town. They, they mean what they say. Yes. So I was very happy to visit my quiet. No, I enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us on this episode. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next one.